Alright, round three, and we're up against Mono Green, which is another deck I think we can just go over the top of. Um, hmm. yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Um, so I saw Prey Upon from the replay. Uh, not a really huge concern. Like, cause I mean, none of our creatures are really that important, um, except for Sun Titan, I'd say. Uh, but that one, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have a hard time prey uponing, praying upon. And I think other than that, we could just grind them out. Blade Splicer is huge. Restoration Angel is huge. Ragtusk is also huge. Okay, now I'm feel stupid for not playing bird on turn one which was 100% correct to do well rewarded I could still actually end up paying for it but um, doesn't really matter as much Hmm. Sure. Turn three frag tusk. And then we'll go with uh probably blanking it. I mean like you can't really go wrong doing that. That is the uh, premise of this whole deck. And uh perfectly perfectly good in this matchup. Oh uh, blinking blade splash is actually better in this matchup for sure. Um We'll just have to see what happens, because I might actually wait on that. It's also very likely that we just want to have Angel down to win the game faster. Because that's mostly the only relevant thing. Zenith for three. Okay, I think we do want an, an extra Golem in that case. We're going to have a lot of first striking power. The ground is going to be super clogged. I guess he I guess he could prey upon blade splicer at a certain point. Um I'm pr I can still trade at the Dungroves in some fashion. Oh, predator ooze. Well, I can't attack with Rag Tusk. Um, and I can block it for a bit. That is a kind of a problem. It's going to take forever, but it's, it is a problem. Hmm. Actually, I should have played an Angel, I think. I was on this plan for sure until he got the ooze. I just didn't reconsider f that line. Because now I can't really do any blocking on this guy. Um, with the golems at least. So I might as well just get the flyer in play. Yeah, I think I definitely was wrong about that. Might end up blinking Thrag Tusk still, actually. Maybe even. Ooh. That's actually really good for him. So 
So now I can't, I can't effectively block that at all. Which means I might have to blink blink the uh, Thrag Tusk. And I actually want to blink Visionary. But I might have to blink the Thrag Tusk. Uh, I mean, getting a 3-3 is also actually... Oh, Jesus. It's actually good for our uh, pressure. Like, if he can only attack with this one. So if we... Oh, well, maybe he has more stuff. Yeah, he has a good amount of blockers now. Um... See, he puts this guy in front of this. Dungrove in front of anything. Guys in front of Skolem. Yeah, we have we have nothing to attack with here. We'd get through for like five ground points. Just lose a bunch of, of guys. Is attacking with this one? Well, we get through for a few extra points. We still lose all of our guys. How many do we lose actually? I had this here before, so this is if this is here. This is on Golem. We're actually we actually get through for a bit. Okay, so we'll definitely do that. His one card in. Okay. He has 10, 11, 12. Like, we're, I'm, t I'm thinking worst case scenario right now. If, like, he just, if I don't kill him and he has plenty of guys in play, how much he can attack me for? Should be 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. 18. Then I have a bird. Alright. So, suicide, my guys. Wish I drew a township. Would have been really awesome. <laughs> I think I would actually just win. Possibly not on the spot, but next turn for sure. Ooh. Yeah, this game, magic kind of has devolved to this. Just play a bunch of random creatures like you can't block because the creatures are too good at attacking and then you just attack back <laughs> it would be different if I drawn my one non-creature card which is birthing pod then I can actually like make a play that doesn't just attack with everything even though I probably still would end up doing that I don't know I don't know what I would have done if mm -hmm. I drew pod let's see we have yeah, I'd probably I probably attack with this. Gets a clone, clone angel, blink thrag tusk. Um, could even do that after attack because I d if I attack with this, it's probably not dying. <clears throat> and then that would set me up for, well, for for sure to survive, and then most likely to have a pretty good attack the turn after. Hopefully lethal, with a conscript. Put you at three, that's not bad. Hope we don't have overrun. One forest, and not enough mana to play Crater of Behemoth. Uh, he has five blockers to my seven attackers but he could only he could end up only taking two which would leave my team I don't know I have angel I just have an angel okay <laughs> oh yeah that's that's a virtual overrun I sh I'm dead to that I think that was actually the real card I was afraid of not actual overrun would like to block that. 
I should just try. Dang it. <clears throat> wow. Alright, so Norn, Fiend Hunter. I mean, this is actually just, just like the last one we played for the most part. Just a bunch of guys. And we clash them together. Yeah, it's very similar. Thrag Tusk is a little bit better here. Or no, I didn't take the Thrag Tusk out, did I? No, I didn't. I think it's better here, even though. Holds off. I mean, it holds off almost everything, just not the ooze. I mean, yeah. The ooze is the only card that I have a problem with. Um, dismember. Fiend Hunter, those will handle the ooze. And of course, Elish Norn will make things a lot different as well. Um, hmm. Is that right? See, it was it was out. It was Image, and then I just didn't play the third dismember against the last deck. Um. This time, I definitely want the third dismember. And I think three Thrag Tusks will have to suffice. And we boarded an Acidic Slime, so that kind of replaces one of them, sort of. It's a good blocker for Dungrove Elder. Actually, it's really all it is. Kind of keeps him off revenge, but that's actually. That's actually pointless, yeah. All my guys are good blockers for Dungrove, for the most part. So, this is actually just better. Alright, that's a hand. God, the games we have Birthing Pot are way, way different. That's pretty obvious, but like... <laughs> it's okay. One game plan, we're just, just creatures. Other game plan, we can do whatever we want. Anything. Township also is actually mm -hmm. another card like that. Ooh. Wasn't really ready for that one actually, but I don't I don't think it matters a whole lot. Well in the short in the uh, in the long run it does matter actually. Hmm. Should I just should I clone it? I can't I can't make use of it, but I could force him to I could just kill his. I could force him to activate his actually because I could just make his die. So yeah, actually I'm gonna do that. Yeah, he since we're just gonna be ground stall for the most part, we're just gonna be. I should I should have attacked first. <clears throat> uh, he's not blocking though. Um, yeah, since we're just going to be ground stalls, this card actually matters a whole lot. So this forces him to activate his. Yeah, he has no other line he has to activate. Okay, or you could just let his guy die. That's fine. And I get to keep mine. And it slows me down a lot. I mean, that's true, but... I think I'm just going to double splice next turn. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost, almost, almost want to clone the Dungrove. But I will not do that. Damn, he really got me this game. 
I was even on the play. I just my plays were way too weak. Yeah, this actually might be a bad matchup. He actually just has more interactive cards than I do. He has, I, he has this guy, this guy, and he has revenge. So it's it's more than I anticipated. Whereas we just have the birthing pod and the township. Yeah. And yeah, he can zenith for that one. So I think he has more. Like well, guess. Restoration Angel actually is a pretty big benefit for me though, uh, as well. So he still has more of the interactive cards, but I I'm not sure it's really bad. If I'm a bad matchup, oh, especially after board. Then I then I definitely uh, have more interactive cards than him. Like he just he's just dead to Alshorn, which is nice. Uh, dismember. Is fantastic. Fiend Hunter. Okay, so he prayed Death Touch Wolf so that he could attack for seven. He's still offering a trade though. Um, I guess that's that's what he has to do to keep his uh, Garuk alive. Um. Yeah, I definitely need to kill the Garuk, so we're going to take it. <sighs> he probably has a creature. So either way, we're in trouble. We just... Huge trouble. Yeah, another Dungrove. Actually, any other creature, and it, would have mattered. it wouldn't have mattered a whole lot, but Dungrove does. Because I could have tapped anything else. There's also a 5-5. Five five. Township is not going to be good enough here. Yeah, I think I'm dead actually. I can I can township. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't trade profitably. Yeah, I'm just dead, and I can't can't deal with the Garuk either. So wow, that is not what I expected to lose.